What is going on guys? Today we are breaking down the latest info on Ashes of Creation that we got from last week's live stream. But before we get into this, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click on that subscribe button and turn on the bell for notifications. Starting off with the UI in the live stream last week, we got a good look at some work in progress UI for the game, including Castle Sieges, which showcases us the health and ammo of the siege weapons you are using, giving us various colors for health levels along with the ammo counter ticking down. This stuff is all just concept and may or may not make it into the final game. Class identifiers were also shown, allowing you to see a player as a melee DPS or heals with an icon over its head that disappears when you get too far away. And the big thing they show is a first look at a concept for the inventory system. We see the basics just like we would expect, being a helmet, chest plate, legs, main hand, off hand, boots, and so on. The one thing that I don't see here, which is kind of interesting to me, is capes. But you do need to keep in mind that again, this is not the final rendition of the inventory system and capes could be added and things could be changed up immensely before we see it in game. This video also shows us the character screen zooming in and showcasing your character in real time instead of a pop-up box for your character. I hope they stick with this style as it's a pretty great looking setup and it stands apart from other MMORPGs. The one thing I want to mention that was shown later in the stream is that belts will have attachments on them that you can pick and choose from further customizing the look of your character, but unknown how exactly this system will work in correspondence to the inventory system. And last, there are these two slots on the top that appear to be more jewelry, but these could potentially represent accessories on your character as you still already have the traditional necklace and rings. I'm not really sure what these are, they kind of look like bracelets to me. I don't know if they're going to have more jewelry than the traditional type you'd expect on a character or if these are going to be like the attachments that you can put on your belt or accessories to your character or what. We'll have to wait a little bit longer until Alpha 1 to find out. Moving on, we got a good look at some daggers, which a lot of people have been asking for, that are currently being worked on by the animation team to bring them to life. Along with this, we are shown some variant of animals that we already know that we will come across in the world, such as new bear variants, new cursed charger variants, and new swift claw variants. These creature variants will inhabit the different binomes around the world in Vera to mix up the life that you see. I've talked about it before, but the art team at Intrepid does an amazing job bringing these to life, and we better get an art book at launch for this game. These next ones are my absolute favorite shown so far. They are the floating armor concepts. These enemies were shown in Alpha Zero gameplay a while back and are armor as soldiers of old, filled with ghost-like energy where they protect the location from looters. The details in these armors are amazing and it should be equally exciting to fight in the game. We then get our first good look at the Scale Runner, a lizard type mount that you can see running around showing off its new animations. The mount itself has very smooth movement and has a pretty cool feel to it. Its animations are said to be modeled after a Komodo dragon. And last but not least, there are some early starter style armors shown that your character will be wearing as he walks into the world of Vera. It was clarified though that you will still be unlocking higher end looking gear than you are used to in MMORPG once you start collecting armor, but this is just how you walk into the world in the beginning. Beginning. Lastly, we are taking a look at some new concept art from the Veiloon human settlements in the game. The Veiloon love the desert, so we are seeing no concept of this building up. Again, the art team has done a phenomenal job in these pictures. It has been said that we will get a good in-game look at the grassland and magical forest binomes that are being worked on in next month's stream as well. We are also shown an animation of a freehold building being complete. This will show up in real time on the server showing players progress of the construction so you can see the stages of life on the server and be a lot more immersed in the world. Ashes of Creation is starting to really shape up and I can't wait to see how Alpha 1 comes along and what it has in store for us. Every single live stream gets me more and more excited for this game. Let me know what you guys think. What are your thoughts on the latest Ashes of Creation live stream? What has you excited for the game? Let me know in the comments and be sure to hit that thumbs up for a lot more to come.